go. So, what we have here is chicken vindaloo on a bed of rice with uh, veggies. Got uh, don't like where this is. Here, let's put you guys back where you normally are. And the cord is out of the way. Oh, sorry. Thumb. There we go. Mm. So I like to just mix it all up. Get all the sauce in there. And the rice has uh, peppers, onions, celery, and carrots. So it's a nice variety of stuff. Get all the sauce mixed in there, the chicken mixed in there, and every bite. You see the steam? Yeah, you can see the steam coming off. And it's nice and piping hot. <laughs> and Drum Mike is like, I'll be back. Now going to get food. Very nice. On a bed of rice. I'm a poet, and I failed to uh, come to that realization. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. And with the leftovers, I, uh, I make wraps. I have uh, soft tortilla wraps. And um, I just get it cold out of the fridge, put on a layer of rice, put some chicken on there, a little bit of sauce, and there we go. Just going to uh, power up the other computer here. <clears throat> That's where the uh, the cram crypt is. Yes, I'm not going to comment on that at all right now, because we will clearly be discussing it on SNI. That's one of the big subjects of the week. the food go it disappears magically you see it go to the top of the frame and then it's gone day 364 eh wow I wasn't aware there were that many days in two months <clears throat> you're waiting in cast cool well I'm powering up the computer so my password. hearing them. <sighs> uh-huh. Oh, 
I know why. Okay. Hold on. Here. No. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Ha. Now, the question is, can we hear them? Well, I can hear them. I can't. Why can't you guys hear them? Why are we not? Why are we not hearing them over here? Yeah. Out oh, here, at least. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Had to bring you. I was guys. not picking my nose. You hear me? <laughs> I was not picking my nose. I was slapping my face with it. Okay. There's a difference. <laughs> Still can't hear you, Sean. Yeah, I am aware. What the fuck? We can't hear you. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Can you hear me now? <laughs> Still nothing. Really? Nope. Yeah. Nope. Whoa. Blah, 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 blah. I heard blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. I hear you. I heard you. Heard you. Blah, 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 blah. There you are. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. I, had, I had to like quickly differentiate what was the stream and what's in here. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah. There we go. We got it. All right. Okay. Just waiting for scan slap. I was just providing Stout with some PC upgradable options for not a lot of money. That'll get him not something amazing, but something totally better than what he's running right now. I see. Oh, I know why. Because it's not adjusted for the thingy. Never mind. I'm gonna look at my system information right now and prove you all wrong about how amazing my computer is. <laughs> uh huh. Rocking yeah, that Celeron <laughs> dual core processor. Like, uh -huh. He was asking me if his <laughs> system would be VR capable. I'd go, your system would implode if you even plugged in a VR headset into it. <laughs> be like, what <laughs> is this? Ah, blue screen. Be like, showing an old man. Be like, no, oh, it's a weird pair of glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I was also making the comment that this, like, two hundred dollar computer that I bought off of eBay, that I. I put together for my smaller arcade cabinet. Turns out to be powerful oh, enough here. to play VR games. There you go. Oh, yeah, you were saying, yeah. Yeah, it's VR. I, I shocked because, like I said, I only spent like maybe three, two, three hundred bucks on it. Food goes up from here into here. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. That big chonk of chicken. I need to turn down the quality on your stream. 
Mm-hmm. Because my computer is too good to handle it. Out the street. Like, what are, what are you? What is this room full of losers? Kind of sound like Rocky. It's just that a room full of losers. You're just like, <laughs> Rocky Balboa wanders in off the street. Are you sure you blocked it? Because someone just came in. They can come in if they're on the friends list. But if they show up on camera, I'll kick them right out again. There's literally no reason for you guys to be there. <laughs> You're going to see it all on the stream. And we're not going to let you on camera. So there's no point. Right. The, nuts. the digital nuts. <laughs> now just use the spoon. Literally no reason. Literally. Literally. <laughs> Hello, 007 Indiana Jones. We're just waiting for skin slip and possibly cast. And we'll, uh. Cass was in your room earlier. Oh. Where is he now? I don't know. You know, he wasn't here. He was in your chat. Oh, yeah, he was. Yeah. And a happy Saturday to you, too, good sir. Welcome. <laughs> Dude, where's our cast? <laughs> hey, Sean. Hey, skin slip. You know, this is not locked because you got a Mikey Betcher in here. No, I, oh my god, I literally just explained this. I wasn't here, was if, I? If they're on the friends list, they can get in. Oh, that, that's the extent that's of cool. private. Neat. I was just telling everybody that there's literally no point to them being there, because if they try to get on cam, we'll just kick them out of the room. So, don't even try. And everything they want to see will be on the, the thingy. Where everybody else is watching. So. I like Discord where they didn't do that. That's nice. nice. I don't have to worry about people coming to my my video. There might be uh, some kind of feature added at some point. I don't know. Mm. Whatever. Okay. I wonder if there's uh Actually, you know what? They probably still need streaming position or uh, permission to stream so they want I was actually... just going to say I think yeah. anyone who comes in is still locked out of that. <clears throat> yeah, they need permission for that. So, I mean, uh, I yeah, if you're on the friends list you can come in here, but we won't pay attention to this chat. Yeah, no. Like, there's, like, there's literally no point to being there. It, it's just so we can have the all the cameras on. So, if you try to get our attention in here, we're literally... Even if we see it, we're probably going to purposefully ignore it. Also, you so. won't see me, because uh, I, I blank out my camera. I mean, I, I could just kick them. <laughs> <laughs> or you could do that. Next okay. Bye. Get out of my room. Didn't give you an invite, did I? <laughs> this is you. Oh, look at me. I'm in the room. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, I'm in the room. This is me. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> San Francisco. I right, you can watch Dread in 3D with a buddy who hasn't seen it. Nice. I thought you had seen Ready Player One, by the way. Nope. That was you you were thinking about. <laughs> no, we've all seen it, except for 
I, I own it. I just haven't watched it yet. That's what we thought. You know, you you bought it a long ass time ago. I did. I bought a lot of things a long I ass time ago. I saw it in theaters that I've never oh, watched. There are things that have been on my shelf for pushing twenty years that I still haven't watched. So. So when did Ready Player One come out? Three years ago, something like that. So. Only yeah. seventeen more years to go, and maybe I'll watch it. <laughs> <clears throat> but I have to rewatch all of the things I've already seen a hundred times. <laughs> I mean, priorities. Hold on. <clears throat> Program code. Run. Oh. <laughs> Old man noises. Yep. <laughs> I learned a Commodore 64 basic program. I see that. And I did myself. It makes pretty colors. It does. I used to do similar things on uh, the Apple IIc. Except the Apple IIc does not have anywhere near the color palette that the Commodore 64 had. <clears throat> Skin Celeb subscribed! 32 months, first time in a dress. Hey, there you go. Then this is a very special one. Woo! Special occasion. 32nd month anniversary. Yeah, only four months shy of three years. It's crazy. Crazy! It's almost like I've known you a long time or something. <laughs> uh, I am nervous, J.O., yeah, just leave. That, that's it's okay. It's it's all good. It's all good. You're among friends here. What was what Z face? Was there a Z face? Was there a troll face? I didn't see it. Was there something on my face for the subscription? I missed yeah, it. Yeah, I, I wasn't looking either. So. <laughs> I completely <laughs> missed it. What's wrong? No, it's just there was something. I think there was something. On my face for the subscription. Oh, like the face mask thing. oh yeah. that thing. And I missed what it yeah, was. We all that it does that. It, we all like, missed what it was. Face. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, <laughs> I know we all got to sit in here. What, you, what? All I'm doing is sitting in my dress and I'm considering a macaroon. That's all I'm doing. Mm, macaroon. <laughs> I don't have to do anything of the sort, Michelle. I can. I don't have to live to anyone's expectations but my own. What the hell was it I watched the other day? I don't have to get my legs blazed. I don't have to shave a goddamn hair off my body. Oh, it was Doctor Who. Anyway. It was the Doctor Who uh, studio footage. I was thinking, where did I hear macaroons mentioned recently? It was the Doctor yeah, Who was... studio footage. When they finished the take, Colin Baker was now... Now, who mentioned macaroons? <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like a beeline off screen. Too. By the way, <laughs> uh, after that, I watched the studio footage that's on the season 23 set, the, the Blu-ray set of the season we're watching. And it's completely different studio footage from what we saw. What? Yeah, there's a couple of clips. Oh. There's a couple clips that were the same, and so, way like, better can quality. You throw that in somewhere so I could see that. Uh, well, it's on the Blu-ray. I don't have any means of extracting it, but um, oh, that's right. You don't have a Blu-ray drive because you're like lame or something. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> suck. But uh, I mean, it only cost like twenty dollars more than the regular drive when I bought it. I was like, all right, really? Oh, oh well. Yeah. It was pretty cheap. They were cheap as fuck. I'll get because one one of these the only days. Way to, uh, to play Blu-rays is to have like, expensive software that you have to pay extra for. So yeah. Oh, okay. They don't really... Yeah. Most people don't understand how to rip the discs like we do. Are you ready to hear how amazing my computer is? Yes. Okay. So my processor that I'm running here is an Intel Core i5 4670. Wow. Uh, Running at 3.4 gigahertz. That's only three generations stinks. ago. <laughs> yeah. Your shit stinks. You only three. Shit. Only three. Only three also, generations. I am running 16 full gigs of DDR3 RAM. Wow. That's way better than two. <laughs> That's right. Actually, and on top of that, I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 
960. Whoa, Naughty 9 series. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, actually, your specs aren't too far off from the computer that I use for gaming. The main reason it doesn't choke constantly on it is because I have a GTX 1060, so it's a little more, you know, modern Easy. game friendly. But uh, but processor wise, I've got a six core uh, 1090T AMD, and also 16 gigs of DDR3. But uh, system. But system drive is a, an SSD drive, so that definitely makes a big difference. And the games are installed on another SSD drive, so that also I'm running i7. That also helps the performance. Thirty two gigs. The other and computer. So dying five years later. Yes, my other com <laughs> my other computer is an i7, and that has sixteen gigs of DDR4, and I have, DDR5 and right. has enough DDR5 is graphics memory. Yeah, GDDR5. Yeah, DDR4 is system memory. Uh, to but, answer uh, the question about uh, worm disease, about if I still stream, no, but I have been fixing up my uh, slobs. My Oh, like streaming. setting up scenes and stuff? Yeah, nice. so that I can get back to that. Making Good. sure that my uh, Elgato... Yes. Not, well, my HD, not no got that. My HD PVR two. Oh, okay. It's a completely different thing. It's hop hog. Is that a hop? That's a hop hog. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how -pag. How -pag <laughs> Making sure that still works and everything, and surprisingly, it does. But oh, it's not great. It's yeah. actually like Omo it's Omo it's called the HD PVR two. It's supposed to run at 1080p, but for some reason through OBS. Yep. It only works nope. at 720p. Which nope. one? Uh, that's what okay. happens when it get old gets old. Yeah. The first thing that happens is software can't 1080p only works at 720p. Yeah. Well, actually, well, it might be. Uh, well, actually, <laughs> he, he might be having the same issue I was having with my hot pug, which uh, would only go as high as 720p. Like that's that's as far as it went. <laughs> That was just the I capabilities of it. it. I looked it up, and there people were talking about how to get it to work with stream with the Streamlabs OBS. Yeah, they were saying it literally will not recognize it unless you have it at 720p. Oh wow! Oh so, weird. So your cool. shit be old. I, know, <laughs> I, said, I was like, I, I, I went OBS under custom. Handy. I went under custom. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Resolution. Aspect or resolution. Custom resolution. Yeah. yeah. Right. And the only there. option was 720 by 480. Oh, That's wow. the only fucking option. Oh, wow. Option. <laughs> On the regular OBS, you should be able to use it, right? Glorious standard def. I, I uh, so. I that was actually, that was, actually. that was one of the I reasons check. I switched over to the Elgato HD 60 was, uh, cause I, I, cause it could do full 1080 at 60 frames per second. Plus, uh, all HDMI input and output, so it could interface more cleanly with the PS3 and PS4, as long as I had an HD HDCP stripper in the mix somewhere, which I do. So, yeah, I got the got the retro Atari T-shirt today. I thought since I since today I was assemb Ow. assembling the gaming chair, it would be appropriate to have a gaming T-shirt of some kind. So, you know. I like the retro, so you know, there you go. So now both Skinslip and I have snazzy streamer chairs. <laughs> I don't recommend it. I recommend someone save money and get an actual ergonomic chair. Really? You're not liking the yeah. uh, the Arazi? I don't recommend it. Really? I don't recommend, it. I recommend a gaming chair anyway because they're always just like car chairs with fucking wheels on them, which are not very comfortable for long stream gaming, honestly. Oh. I don't know. I'm, I'm I tried liking, to tell you this. I'm like, but I'm liking this. I like it. It's comfortable. Oh, it's great for the first couple months, and then the fucking padding wears out, and then it's the phony stabby thing for the rest of the time. Oh, I don't know. I will. We'll I'm just telling my experience. I'm just being honest. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll see if it's a brand thing. We'll see if this brand lasts a little longer than your brand. I don't know. We'll see. I saw. Right. I looked up yours as well. They both cost about the same. So. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with the price. They're all about the same price. They're all from the same Chinese Mac. It's all Chinese and crap, basically, yeah. from the same manufacturer. But this they is... just get like custom chairs with their, they get custom logos printed <clears throat> on them. That's about it. Yeah. 
So do you have the same chairs I do, probably practically. I don't know. <laughs> Mine's an ergonomic mesh back. Oh, you got the mesh. You back. Always, you got that's the, mesh the thing. Back, the yeah. mesh back. That's yeah. the good thing. Yeah. If I can. See, I don't like mesh back, but ergonomic is the key word there. You know. All right. An yeah. actual ergonomic chair. Yeah. So no. Then there are other kinds that are not mesh back. They're gotcha. just as good. So, so no. So no foam padding to wear out. <laughs> I mean, it's got a it's got a foam head. Yeah. But how often do you press your head fully against the back of the chair? Yeah, right. Wow. <laughs> uh, exactly. Every S and I. I'm going to sit like <laughs> this all yeah, the time. And, and like I said, every S and I, I'm, I'm just back like this. Like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so. You shut your hole. No one actually asked you. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, sadly, they don't. Uh, I bought this at Ikea, and they don't uh, sell it in this color anymore. Oh. Uh, they do sell it in black, though. Black and nice. gray, I think, are the two colors. <clears throat> and yeah, this was like 150 bucks. Wow. Okay, this was more than that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I could have got three and a half of your chairs for what this one cost. My no, chair two was and $60. Half. Two, two and a half of your chairs. $60. Yeah, but, but also, like you, you know, I didn't have a lot of money to upgrade No. at the time. Um, I ended up actually getting this for my birthday. I didn't actually... The, the only reason I was able to get um, this at all is it was essentially donated. So... so I was Genuine just the chair Amazon I basic chair. The chair that I was using <laughs> was $2 from a garage sale. Wow. No. Crazy. Yes, Garbage Gamer's uh, backlit keyboard is quite snazzy. That's something that I want to get, actually, is a couple of new keyboards for the computers. I have several backlit keyboards, actually. I want to go mechanical, actually. Stouds really <laughs> sold me on the mechanical. This is a, oh. a USB 10 keyless mechanical. Nice. Actually, I think all uh, three of you have sold me on the mechanical. Clickety <laughs> extra clickety clackety. I'm right. one of the people that have actually gone off of the full straight, like, cherry red super loud um and i've switched back to a hybrid where oh, it does okay. have a membrane but it does have switches instead of just a membrane I, I contact see Cass listed in the users Cass, are you there are you coming what's going on he hasn't joined the chat no he Cass. hasn't no i see him on uh Cass. on twitch oh so. Cass. so yeah i guess this is this is technically the pre-show, even I'm, though I'm on the wrong screen. Yes! Whatever. <laughs> I'm trying to hide all my. Pickups. Doesn't matter. I That's have cool. three. Well, I guess That's four, cool. including the chair, but three have... regular pickups. I have this one two. Two is a red dragon. Oh. This is what I was using. This is the really loud. Oh, yeah, I was looking oh, yeah. at those actually, the red dragon ones. These are these are really nice. Yeah. They're, they're nice. They're heavy. They got yeah. a solid like steel base on the mm, bottom of them. I like that. Um, and I'm I am running a red dragon <clears throat> mouth. Okay. This is my colorful. Shiny. How many <gasps> How many extra buttons does it have? Like programmable uh, it has, buttons. Just, has just two on the side. Just two. Okay. So yeah, my current one um, has two. But uh, this is my keyboard. This is a this is the HyperX. HyperX. Um, and, and it's a hybrid keyboard, which means that like I said, it has a switch mm -hmm. and a soft touch membrane. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> so it has that kind of feeling of colorful of a uh, but then you can't annoy people type the rainbow and I can change it to others key commands I can do and it's got media keys up here what if you want to annoy people <laughs> well, see the problem was I was annoying myself oh <laughs> well you don't want to do that and I'm I'm the person I don't want to annoy so Oh, you got some Zoids, eh? Double set. I remember you were eyeballing those. You're like, what? Zoids Ooh, came what back? You, what Zoids <laughs> did you get? Zoids Pretty sweet. Came back. Uh, they never the really left. I think they day. just they left right. North America for a while, but uh, oh yeah, they they, were, they left in the they were always popular in Japan <laughs> and uh, really popular in the UK as well. They actually had a Zoids comic book that ran for a number of years, which we never got over here. For <clears> me, I would want. Uh, uh, oh, let's see. Obviously, from Chaotic Centuries, I want the Blade Liger, which is oh right, the anime. Yeah. Yeah, the blue Blade Liger, which is. Um, I I used to watch like my first introduction into Zoids was just Zoids, the one that was shown here, where it was like the tournament battles. 
like okay. I said, with the with the white blade liger. Okay. Which which was neat because it had like all the extra add-ons to make it like a tank or to make it into like a very fast one. Mm -hmm. That's all I have. But I liked the chaotic century story where it was the whole idea was that humans coexisted with these, you know, giant zoids that kind of lived like actual animals and we tamed them and, you know, they became weapons and that kind of stuff. And, and like, you don't just like build a zoid. You actually go out into the wild and catch one and train it and that kind of stuff. And so it had like Pokemon, different but metal. Options. Yeah, it was like po it was like Pokemon except giant mech robots. <laughs> <coughs> and uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think. God, it's been years since I've watched that show. Um, um, what were the? I'm trying to think of the names. There's three. <laughs> we run obviously from the show. There's the Death Soar, which is literally a giant T Rex. <laughs> that had a particle cannon that just like annihilated everything. Um, particle man, particle man. No. <laughs> there was a totally not Han Solo character. <laughs> even Han even kind of he, like he dressed like a mix I love between those. Han Solo and uh, it was, yeah, it was like a weird mix between <laughs> Han Solo and Boba Fett. And it was like because he had like weird little pieces of armor. Two, but he kind of so kind of. Two of my favorite, it. totally not Han Solo characters, uh, the 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 gruff cigar chomping. Oh my God, stone! The gruff cigar chomping uh, uh, pilot character in Star Chaser: The Legend of Orin, and then of course Herc Storm Sailor from Jason the Wheeled Warriors. Oh God. <laughs> I especially liked all of the interaction he had with Oon. <laughs> mm. I just have one thing to say to that. <laughs> That's great. Squee. I just got this picture from Haji. I'll just show it here. Saren Isaac, the king of live streams. <laughs> hey, there he is, Irvine. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much, Haji. About the non Han Solo character in Ice Pirates. That, well, that too. Yeah. I haven't watched Ice Pirates for a while, but. It's a good one. Wasn't there a Blu-ray of that coming out? We were all yeah, excited. Already, about it. already it, out. It already. already well, goddamn it. Where have I been? It's, got, or, or, it's fucking Ar Warner Archive. Oh, dude. it's Warner Archive. Okay. Where have you been? I was, well, apparently not paying attention to Warner Archive. Go, dude. What the fuck? I know, and we probably talked about it at great length, and then I immediately I forgot. I talked about it during pickups. I talked about it like when it was found. Yeah. I'll add it to my wish list right now. See, they mentioned Zoids, and now I'm looking up about Zoid shit. <laughs> uh-huh. Damn it. And the infection spreads. Yes. This is, you stop it. This is how a virus spreads, folks. Stop. Like no an virus idea. spreads when you don't wear a mask. There it is. Add to wish list. Wear your mask. Well, it only came out four and a half years ago. I'm not that far behind the ball. <laughs> January 2016. Great. It's probably already on my wish list, honestly. I just forgot again. Now you'll have two copies. I'll have what? Two, two copies. One to keep in the package and one to open and play with. Did that guy oh, ever ice pee pirates? your... Yeah. <laughs> but I don't have it. My I point ha is, if you put it on your list, you can get two of them. You can keep one package. Oh, I see. You know? sure. No, it, does, it doesn't do that, though. It just... I know it doesn't. Fuck. It... Christ. It's a joke. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. 
You're so thick sometimes, Z-Man. So bloody thick. What type of accent was that supposed to be? I don't know. Some some manner of British. British bastardization. Oh, Where they say <laughs> F instead of TH. I'm trying to remember something. Bruv. What was it? Bruv. Bruv. <laughs> Governor. Oh, Hello, love. Oh, yeah. Hello, love. Oh, that's, that's the worst. That's literally the worst. Yeah. Hello, love. What's all this then? <laughs> if Brad Garrett has not played Eeyore, then that's a travesty. Well, then, yeah. I'm searching right now just to make sure he has. <laughs> Where did that even come from? But I, I agree. No <laughs> Listen. I can't explain the machinations of my mind. That's just the, an enigma. It's an enigma. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't have any milk to spill, but you get the point. No, no, Michelle. Friendly sounds exactly like that. He says bruv and govna and love and all that shit. Weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Brinsley. I'm just it kidding. It is similar to Brinsley's accent, but the one yes, I was I know, doing I know. was far less classy than Brinsley. Yeah, Brinsley <laughs> Mine was classy. like chavtastic. <laughs> yes, Brinsley has a very. It's spot yes, on. Brinsley, he, did spot on. <laughs> he agrees with me. He uh, did play. He me. did play. You are have... excellent. I have confirmed in the movie Christopher Robin, no less. He played. I was just going to say, Perfect. I thought it was the latest movie. There you go. It was one Perfection. of the things that sold me on it. I'm just going to turn everybody down oh, a little bro. bit. There we go. Okay. Like, you even play Christopher out. Robin? What? Did you die again? Like the seventh. Like, this um, world is not acceptable unless that happens. By the way, Stoud, you'll be happy to know that The Outer Worlds is being played by Rosie. Oh, she's pl that's what she's playing. Okay. Yes. It's a pretty short game in here. Cool. Yeah. It's not as... It's like yeah. 20, 30 hours, something that's, like that. That's good length. Yeah. Yeah. Depending on how much you do in it. Like, I can yeah. imagine you could make it last longer. I probably could. I like to just meander about and do lots of random side missions and shit. Why are you just running around killing everybody? He wasn't even... <laughs> But he wasn't even like looking get... at you, let alone shooting at you. He was just standing there minding his own business. And you, you ran up and chopped his head off. <laughs> You're gonna get the most out of it though, because right. the best part of that game is just all the like the the side stories, side quests, and just the stories in general, the shit that you'll read about nice. in the universe of the world. So Sounds yeah, good. you're gonna get the most out of it. Most Excellent. people just go right through all of it, and they're like, well, "This game sucked." Because yeah, you but you know, I, I never getting into the lore. I never do that with those games. I, I a lot I, of your stuff to appreciate. I dig deep. I stop and smell all the roses, all of them, yes. every single one. <laughs> every single disgusting, oh, filthy shit. rose. That's right. Damn, that's very Skyrim like. Like, Skyrim does that, too. Help. She just did, like, some epic finishing move on somebody. And I'm like, yep, Skyrim does that sometimes. What are you, you just running away? Oh, you're dead. <laughs> 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 so, side to Slee? Find named Zoe that went missing. Oh. I found her. She's living in a camp full of villains. Damn villains. <laughs> um... So you just went in and tried to kill everybody? Ah, itchy. Uh -huh. <laughs> sounds like how I approach stealthy infiltration missions. <laughs> so, loud banging. Sneak? <laughs> I know. I guess Cass isn't coming. I, I didn't know. I'm dead, so. uh, oh, no. There he is. Is he here? Oh, he just came in. Okay. Yay! Finally. All right. So we'll just uh, we'll wait a Finally minute. Finally, it me, is uh, happening. I'll kill my me. camera so that uh, oh, fire. He should be able to take over the other slot here. <clears throat> Tuna Man, nineteen eighty-four. He 
He's a world expert on tuna gate. Oh, 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 almost saw him there. It's a party. There we go. It's a sexy party. Yay! <laughs> Let's have a sexy party. <laughs> <laughs> And greetings, Cass, and welcome. I don't know. It's over there. Is the uh, <laughs> fan making too much noise, by the way, or is it fine? No, sounds fine. No, just you, just you, Justin. Can't hear it. Just I hear this just annoying sure. clicking sound periodically, but other than that, A clicking noise. Huh? I don't know what could be causing that. <laughs> I'm confused about that. I don't know. Hey, thank you for the follows, Durham, Steve. With? Which one? Who? Ken. <laughs> oh, Ken. Okay. Yeah, he has like Boris from Goldeneye fiddling with the pen and sitting there. Their <laughs> Stop it! I am invincible! <laughs> I love how he freezes just like... He's just like... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. that one. That yeah, I know. It took me a minute. Yeah, Goldeneye. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking. I love how about. he does. I was thinking gold I member. I'm like, eh, I haven't seen that in a long time, so I was making the wrong <laughs> mental association. Wrong gold. I'm but yeah, or he does the I am invincible thing, weird? and like nobody reacts or cheers wrong with him or rock. anything. It's just like yeah. awkwardly geeky. <laughs> well, no, it's when the uh, the tank of like the the whatever the liquid nitrogen or whatever explodes yeah and freezes him freeze in them. place <laughs> oh is that what it was? okay <laughs> it has like tentacles off his glasses and he's just frozen in the i am invincible pose dead <laughs> <laughs> yeah perfect i need to I see remember that. the theater the theater really cracked up at that part <laughs> that's not in theaters I was really proud of myself in that movie. That was the very first movie where I paid attention to the explaining part. I was really proud of myself for that. Wow. <laughs> the explaining so you part. actually knew what was going on in the movie. Yeah, I, exactly <laughs> what it was, and, like, I understood all that. It only took me until I was 12. But So did you normally just <laughs> zone out? It's like, eh, talking. So do, 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 do. Average, Not paying attention. Uh, <laughs> well, no, because I would always ask you questions and you would get mad at me. Talking. It's so like everything to the explainy part. It's like everything well, you're asking me is literally all your explained. Were, are you enjoying this film? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you enjoying this movie? Yes. Stop interrupting me to ask if I'm enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> I think what he's saying though is that what he meant by that was I don't understand what's happening. Please yeah. explain the entire plot to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's because I was watching, uh, as I've explained before, but I was watching White Man's Burden, which is basically nothing but explainy parts and social commentary and stuff like that, that, yeah, a nine-year-old is totally going to pick up on all those subtle nuances of <laughs> writing. <laughs> so he, to him, it was just this boring talking movie, and he didn't understand what I saw. Because usually I'd watch action <laughs> movies and things that were exciting. Yeah. Or funny. Maybe a car you know. chase or something. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. White man's burden. Well, and what's funny is you telling me about it now. It actually sounds interesting and I want to watch well, it. Well, it's, it's a, yeah, it's a reversal. Like, what if the white man was the downtrodden and the black man was the, uh, you know the one with all the perks and benefits and privilege and stuff and it takes the whole you know racism and and class perception and stuff and just turns it on its head and it's uh john travolta as the downtrodden white man being oppressed by the black man oh, good. and the black oh, man God. oppressing him is harry belafonte so yeah we're gonna have trouble relating <laughs> to that now knowing knowing the fucking plot I'm, I'm not really I'm... it's just it's the actor that would ruin it uh, yes, I don't so like I mean, John Travolta why, why racism yeah. is bad 
Yep. It's not. That's a thank white guy. I can think of very few examples of John Travolta movies that I actually, like, think, thinking back on it, think are actually good. Or rather that he actually did a good job in them. You know, like Pulp Fiction. Yeah. You know, like Michael? He's great in Pulp Fiction. What was that Michael? Huh? But, like... <laughs> The Michael, the Michael's the one where he plays the angel. Okay. Michael. Mediocre. Mediocre. <laughs> mediocre. Yeah, but I mean, so I, I remember it I being thought okay. It I there. thought the social commentary aspect of it was interesting. It, it just wasn't a particularly exciting movie. Like, it was just kind of <laughs> dull. <laughs> it's like, this is an interesting idea and could be done interestingly. But it's oh, yeah, and then it's phenomenon. It's just kind of dull. Phenomenon, I remember. I actually kind of liked that, that one. one. Oh, boy. No, oh, that, that one. It the... was fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, it, it was. It was also dull. It was fine. Oh, it was cool. no. Yes. No. It was. I think very different. I don't six know. out of ten. Why? I give it a six out of ten. I give it a That's s- generous. I give it a six point five. Four. Out of yeah, five. Four. It wasn't awfully shot. Four. You're welcome. When did you last <laughs> see it? Probably as long as you have. Well, I <laughs> saw it when it was new. <laughs> yeah. <same. laughs> On VHS. In the drive-in. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you saw it in the theater. I did not. With but... some other better movie that I also can't remember, to be fair. So. <laughs> <laughs> so then how do you know it was a better movie? Maybe it was worse, and that's why you forgot it. <laughs> that could be true, yeah. You remembered the less not good one. <laughs> That's true. Possible. Possible, yeah. Yeah. But I thought it was okay and then uh, I was really disappointed when I discovered that the Argento film wasn't a remake of it. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm just saying the film wasn't a remake of the Like, of the, Fanon, why is she just talking to bugs well, all the time? When does she how, get the psychic powers? <laughs> how amazing would have been is if that Travolta one was a remake of the Argento one and that's what came out. <laughs> what? Then they really missed when, the mark. This is so. What? There's not even a drop of this in here. What? Jail. Search your feelings. <laughs> Look who's talking was also a mediocre film. You know it to be true. The only good one in that too is Look who's talking. You know he's it talking to be now. true. He's on the animals. The animals are adorable. There. Oh, that's it. I, I just thought he was clapping back at you. He was like, "Stop!" Well, to me, talking. the the <laughs> the best part of "Look Who's Talking" was that it was Bruce Willis as the voice of the smart-ass baby. So you know, yeah, I didn't care that's about like, I didn't care about the parents. Movie, I just wanted is to John hear the Travolta good in the. Movie? I, I just wanted to hear the babies saying funny stuff and baby. I just want to hear the dogs saying play. funny shit. Fuck the babies. Who cares about yeah. babies? Well, then what about uh, uh, What Women Want, the Mel Gibson film? I saw that theater. <laughs> it's crap. I thought Wait, it was enjoyable. We're talking about Mel Gibson now? It wasn't crap. Mel Gibson is a great actor. It was actor. entertaining. It was funny. He's a terrible person. He's a great actor. I like the part where he could hear what the poodle <laughs> wanted, and the poodle really the needed to pee. That. <laughs> it's not bad. It's fine. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's not crap. I said it was bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's all right. I'm allowed to have opinions, bro. Relax. What? I'm allowed to have opinions. Relax. No. You're only allowed to have opinions that exactly concur with mine. (laughs) You you still haven't seen Battlefield Earth yet, have you, Sean? No. Oh my god, so bad. That one I expect to be Someday bad. Someday we have to sit down and watch that. That'd be a game be gangbang. I uh I used to have the book oh and god. I started to read it and just it was not grabbing me. That's so. because it's L. Ron Hubbard writing. Oh I know. When we talked about by, you by the word. Well, I, ex- exactly. When we talked about that, like with Mission Earth, how much padding there was yep. in Mission Earth and how the the abridged three hour long audiobook adaptation of Mission Earth <laughs> told you literally everything relevant about the story. The so, entire series. Like so eight books so I, I was kind of alternating back and forth. I had most of the audiobooks. There was a couple I couldn't find, so I read the books. And then I went back to the audiobooks, and I found, like, I'm, I'm missing nothing by going with the abridged <laughs> version. Like, literally nothing. <laughs> I know, right? Sometimes like, the director is crap. It's like, crazy. when does that happen? <laughs> <laughs> like never. Very rare. Only when you're being paid by the, by the well, only when it's Elron Hubbard. Yeah. 
That's why I did, uh, I did Dianetics, because he wanted to break into self-help, because it was uh, oh. good money there. And then it became a religion, and then, you know, that's a whole other one. Well, that, that's where the real money is, religion. Yep. Yeah. It, it is was, what it is. He wanted yeah. to make, I mean, he was making a modest I, I living. Everyone makes fun of it. Look, everybody makes fun of the Scientology, but the Mormons were founded by a guy who found some gold tablets in the desert. Okay, so like, and cool. then they used a fucking seer stone, yeah, because that's what he used to sell was fucking seer stones. That was, <laughs> and they put it in a stove top pipe or yeah, a uh-huh. stove pipe hat. That's what, Look yeah, uh-huh. stove pipe hat. Cool, and used that the seer stone in the stove pipe hat in order to translate yep. the fucking thing. Yeah, so, exactly. The death is bullshit. So, so, <laughs> so that was his pet rock. <laughs> <laughs> he made a million dollars. Well, I mean, like, nothing against, <laughs> nothing against Mormons. I love Mormon people. They're, they're really kind people. They're very yeah. generous people. I have nothing wrong with people. I just, religions in general, not the people, but the yeah. religions, I have a problem. The organized yeah, religion, that. yeah. You as a person so, I have no problem with. Yeah. When it comes to John Travolta's acting, I would say there are three movies I think he's really good at. One, Pulp Fiction. Obviously. Obviously. Two, Grease. Fuck you, Grease is good. Yeah. Three, um, stay- <laughs> From Paris with Love. Hey, hey, he's hey, fucking hey, amazing hey, 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 yeah. hey. Saturday Night Fever, thank you very much. Oh, fuck my God. Movie. What? And fuck his character movie. What? in that movie. Come that on! I hate that. That movie is such trash. It's oh Awful. my god! You people spouting your like, opinions in is terms back. of the quality of the no. filmmaking. I mean, like, <laughs> I hate the characters. I hate the story. I hate everything about it. Good. I that's part, still a that's quality the film. Point. That's the point. But like, I never <laughs> want to watch it again because of how much I hate the characters and I hate the story. Fine. So like, but it has a great soundtrack. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so does Pulp Fiction. A it much does. better film. Uh huh. <laughs> I like Saturday Night Fever. I never saw Staying Alive, but I like Saturday Night Fever, and I like, I like it because life. everyone is so fundamentally unlikable. Like, and it's you know it's a well-made film. You I know? like the Money Pit. Great cinematography. That is my to that. <laughs> hey, the Money Pit's great. I would great, watch it. Great time pit. capsule of an era and a subculture. I just need his laugh on hand. I have to say, (laughs) of the canon of Hanks, the the Money Pit is somewhere in the solid high middle. Oh, Money Pit's great. Yeah, great movie. (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. The problem is hilarious. It's not making in so many fucking good movies that it's in the middle. It's it's like you know why? Because Tom Hanks could make a bad movie and he would make it better. Yeah, he's one of those actors. Yeah, where it's. He's just so good. There's at certain actors like that. Like they can be in the worst piece of crap ever, but you still enjoy yep. them in that piece of crap. They you elevate know? The material by literally existing in it. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Exactly. Robin Williams is like that too. Oh God, yeah. Well, Robin Williams, like, I, I kind of liken Robin Williams and Tom Hanks to be having similar appeal for similar reasons, in that they were essentially chameleons. They can play just about anything, and. Everything that they're in, again, even if you don't like the rest of the movie, you still like them in it. You know, like I've never not liked Tom Hanks in anything he's done, and same with Robin Williams. I've always enjoyed both of them. So, and they can both do comedy and drama equally well. You know. Yeah. Speaking of Tom Hanks, I really want to see that Mister Rogers movie. Me too. I did see the documentary about Mr. Rogers that came out a few years ago. That was really good. But did you see the meme that was saying that Steve Rogers became Mr. Rogers? <laughs> <laughs> I think I heard something about that, yeah. <laughs> I'm down with that. That's canon now. That's fucking canon. It all makes sense. <laughs> Steve Rogers. <laughs> uh, just changed his name to Fred so they wouldn't suspect. Justin, look what I'm moving to the front of the pile. Cool. Yeah. 
cool. Look what I have right here. So we can finally. Wow, oh, what's that? Cool. That's pretty. Yeah. Mine's a hard box. So. Oh. And a digibook with it. See, so the only excited. version I've seen is just the plain Jane Blu ray. Oh, this no. has got a digibook inside and stuff. So. Ooh. Yeah, this is the limited edition release. There was also a limited release for um, for uh, African Queen, but I missed out on that one. Sadly. Oh, yes. That was a favorite of my parents. They really liked that one. i never seen it. But, uh, nah. It was okay. It's all right. It's it's like driving. <laughs> it, basically, it's kind of what Driving Miss Daisy was inspired by. Oh, okay. They're very similar premise uh, films. Except one, they're in a boat on a river. The other, they're... Driving all I have a feeling, place. no sense of driving this baby, Daisy. I feel like African Queen might be better. Possibly. I'm not saying anything against Miss Ma Daisy. That's just saying. Well, I mean, wow. Was, but with African Queen, you got Humphrey Bogart and Catherine Hepburn. So yeah, exactly. Two giants so like, of Hollywood. It's like the other so. one. You got Morgan Freeman. Mo yeah. I mean, you know, Mar Morgan, Morgan Freeman, Freeman, Morgan Freeman, Freeman and, and the old lady, whoever the hell that was. I can't. I don't remember Annette either. Bettis? Was it Annette Bettis? Jessica Lange? No, I don't. I don't uh, I don't think she was old enough at the time, was she? No, I don't know. I'm just saying random actress names. <laughs> Jessica <laughs> Tandy. Jessica Tandy. Tandy. Jessica Tandy. I was yeah. close. Yes. Yeah, we were yes. We were all kind of similar in the ballpark. Guns out. Got a few letters right. Movies. Correct. Uh, I think the last one he did that I know of was Fences. Hey, well, let's take a here. look. You know, we do have the internet. We can just look things <laughs> up. Denzel well, Washington, easy. what you working on, Denzel? What what you working on? Like Let's Denzel. see here. What did you do? When? I also like Denzel. Denzel's great. It's funny that King Kong ain't got nothing on him. Uh, That's right. Oh, hold on. So he did the Equalizer two, uh, just a couple years ago, and there's two coming out next year: The Little Things, and he plays Lord Macbeth in Macbeth. So that's pretty cool. I didn't know he was. I didn't know he was going to be in a new version of Macbeth. He's a great actor. I can, he can do any of that. Why but not? yeah, he doesn't do a ton of things. He does like one or two movies a year. Macbeth's like he doesn't. A white guy, get out of my fucking comments. You know, <laughs> he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't do a ton. He, he kind of. I think he's. Patrick he, Stewart did a reversal of Othello. He kind of picks and chooses. That's pretty good I hear. He kind of picks and chooses yeah. his roles. I think so. He, you know. He has like one or two movies on the go at a time, but but yeah, no, Denzel's still working. Uh, He's still doing. So, it. the little things is a movie directed and written by John Lee Hancock, who is known for making all those feel-good sports movies you've ever seen before. Oh, all none of them. <laughs> the Rookie, The Blind Side. Oh, he also did Saving Mr. Banks. Okay. Right, never that, seen that's basically no. what he I does. Saw I saw the rookie for a living. I saw he the rookie. makes a bunch of movies. Hello, skeleton owner. owner. Oh, he also oh, did no. the Alamo. Okay, cool. The Alamo. Hey, John, when are we start the show, buddy? I don't know. Soon. Don't forget to do your tweet. Oh, get yeah. Start the show. Get go, that go, go. Sure, well, yeah, I'll remind you just in time. Yeah. This I time know. maybe I'll remind you to go live. Just maybe this time I'll actually send the tweet. I know, right? <laughs> Precisely. Uh, uh. I have a cookie. Oh, I'm purposely not revealing what I'm wearing currently. Obviously, a few people know what I look like. They're in my stream earlier, but I'm waiting. You know, that's that's entirely. <clears throat> Up to you. You are in control of you. That's that's right. I'm the boss of me. There you go. I'm the boss of me now. You are the boss of you. Live now. The Saturday Night Insanity podcast. And yes, we're gonna call it that. I don't care if you think it doesn't fit the definition. Fuck you. Who, who said that we're gonna fit? Someone a couple weeks ago said, I don't know why you're calling it a podcast, because that's not really what it is. Because like, your mother is a fucking whore. Shut and, up. And, like, what is it then? <laughs> like, fuck off. Like, nobody wanted, nobody asked anybody. Like, like literally putting the word podcast in there has helped to boost our viewership a little bit. So, yeah, we're going to keep calling it a podcast. Thank you. So, yeah. the thing is, like, well, what does, uh, 
what do all the other podcasters do nowadays? The big ones. They do video streams. Really video the streams where they're talking to other people about whatever the fuck. Hey. You yeah. Know, the news. So what do we do? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the point. The thing is, is yes, the traditional podcast when it started as a thing was audio because you know there wasn't as much bandwidth on the internet at the time to do video so it's easier to just you know do when, audio you know when they added video to podcast when year four well there you go 25 years ago or 20 years ago whatever it was like what the fuck dude see there you go like I, like seriously so, like people need to shut the fuck so up so video you can have a video or audio podcast what a podcast right. is is essentially a talk show that is published on a regular basis. Technically, Z is pretty Z, much. Z, technically, Z could get a website set up and a feed <clears throat> and actually have files on a server and it fed through a, a RSS to your yes. podcast blocker. And then you can watch the video. It was on that wonderful. <laughs> yes, like, I could. Apple, I, I, or podcasting will like or the iTunes thing can support the video, so it's like. He could, if he wanted to, turn this into a legit podcast. I could. Podcast. I could even set up an RSS feed so you could get get things sent directly to it. Yeah. Somehow. Like that. However the fuck yep. that works. I've never really understood those. I don't either, but I'm saying you can do that. <laughs> an RSS feed. I could feed it straight to Literally you. Literally a content type tag, you know? Yes. RSS. This. No, can I? Hey, Ryan Chataway. Why aren't you in the audio chat over here with us? Hello, and Ryan Chataway. And Ryan Chataway. And Ryan Chataway. Uh-huh. I think my favorite part about that video, Ryan, is that your hair is so ridiculous party. looking in that video. Oh yeah. Well, and I I must it up too to make it even more so. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go smoke, grab my drink which I left in the kitchen, and then we shall be. <laughs> Actually, back in the day when this stuff like this he started, it wasn't even called podcast. Huh? He looks trustworthy. It was called netcasting. He's the quote unquote yep. snake. The term whatever. podcast. Yeah. Oh. People started using downloading these He's netcasts. Yep, yep, yep. It's um, what's iPod this net cast? You know you're going, That's why I'm being new. It's all good, Ryan. Nothing but love, buddy. Actually, Jesus the first term Christ. of podcasting wow. was first suggested in 2004 by a columnist from The Guardian and a BBC journalist, Ben Hemmersley, who invented it in early February 2004. A little teaser. While penning an article for the Guardian newspaper. Blah, blah, blah. A Muppet face. <laughs> oh my god. I want to be a Muppet someday. Uh, well, I can help you with that. <laughs> you can? Cool. I know people who make puppets. They're going to make you a Muppet. Costs money, but you can get one that made. There's no app for trans people for dating. It's fucking stupid. That is stupid. It's really fucking stupid. There's no site, I don't think, either. Oh, there is for chasers, if you want to try. That's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, you're a cute Muppet, though, bird. Master of Muppets. I'm calling your name. <laughs> yes, but... 007, they are looking for men. Oh, that's... I almost forgot I was going to ask women, you guys. One women are... Well, generally, just not... It's not a, not a welcome place. Put it that way. Yeah. That's the problem. So, you find them on Grinder occasionally, too. Full Moon Features is offering a deal. I don't know if you guys knew about this. Some of us are lesbians. I'm just saying, you know? And... It's the full box set of all the Puppet Master movies, all 12 of them, on Blu-ray. Yeah. For $60. 
That's a pretty good price. Wish I could afford it. And uh, the whole idea is you're paying $60 for a year of their streaming service, and they're giving you the box set for free. Yeah. I was thinking about it, even though I shouldn't spend any money. I want it. What are you talking about? That sucks. <laughs> That's I'm a good price. Give the woman the thing of power. Give the woman the thing uh, of power. Because Joe's had a cure uh, and he doesn't. Uh, and all they're eating is sold tuna. Mm, tuna. Um, so that's why they're getting the plague. And Flavored her tuna. group isn't. So she said she'll come and help them if he steps down. So... I mean, garbage. You see the Twitch chat, right? Garbage. I'm. They're being addressed, so I asked. Oh, am I? Yeah. Sorry, I'm looking at other things. I know. That's why I'm telling you. You're being addressed because you clearly weren't paying attention to it. You were like off doing something. Uh, it so. feels like you have a screensaver of light bright. Yeah, I kind of mm -hmm. do. You just got asked an actual question with a space with no, all the way at the bottom there, a skeleton boner. Yes, what you what your thoughts hmm. of the uh, arc? My thoughts? Yeah. Um, See, we know, but that's uh, waiting. I, I don't know. I, I think they're pretty. <sighs> <laughs> Two. Butt think sweat they're... for the win. All right. But I hate it. That's the other thing, by the way, Sean. That's okay. Those, Two things are warning. The real thing. Swamp ass and lots and of it. Hemorrhoids. If you start throwing hemorrhoids, you will get them. I'm okay. Just because the way you sit in those chairs. Hey, like thanks, them. Michelle. Appreciate the subscription. I got some. I'm getting. Yes, Michelle, I'm getting salted. Awesome. I'm getting salted. Michelle is definitely awesome. Michelle is yeah, all of right, the yeah. awesome. Absolutely. As I'm being well seasoned. <laughs> 007 hasn't been around long enough for me to show off my setup. <laughs> oh, you fine. haven't seen, yeah. Garbage <laughs> occasionally gives us room tours, and we see. Uh, Bring your mic up a little bit, my, uh, Eric. All of the setup. There you go. Now talk. Hello. Hey, you look okay. I can hear you a little better now. Yeah, it's not. It's not omnidirectional. So. I'll just wipe my yeah, nose sure. before we begin the actual show. Behind the scenes. Okay. <laughs> Only you get to see this special content. <laughs> I know, don't you feel special? That's a swamp, swamp thing, thing usually gets swamp on. Ass. He is the living manifestation of swamp ass, yes. Yes, that's right. Yeah, the reason you have swamp ass is because swamp things out there doing things. He's in all our asses creating swamp. <laughs> oh Buster says two peanuts were walking down the street. One was assaulted. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I told him was sad to death yesterday. Uh, What's up? Uh, wait. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I'm being a dork. Don't mind me. That's okay. We're used to it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am so don't worry. so happy we got back to Doctor Who this week. That was fun. Uh, skeleton Hunter, which one? I look forward to more. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Dude, what cabinet that was? Flat in the screen uh, for some reason. I don't know why. Speaking of At some point, I somehow cut the screen with, with my knife, and so there's like a nice gouge in the plastic on the screen. On your screen? Yes. Oh, well, that's annoying. Well, I guess it would, like, wouldn't be that? my screen. Like, how the fuck did you cut my screen? It's not deep enough to, like, <laughs> cause the what? liquid jello to ooze out. It's just like a surface yes. scratch. It's, it's beautiful. Away. It's on my forehead, and I hate it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you do it? Why? I don't think I meant to. I don't even remember doing it, but like it's the only thing that makes sense. That I probably accidentally cut it when I was like opening a box or something. What do you call a group of cows that touch themselves in an unpure manner? Oh, Lord. Beef stroganoff. I braved drinking during that one because I knew exactly what it was going to be. <laughs> it's like, oh, I know this one. Can drink safely. <laughs> well, no, just because like every that. time it's been on the menu somewhere we've been, you've always gone, ugh, stroking off. <laughs> How does the peanut beg for cash, Ryan? 
Cashew? Cashew. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Cashew. So Cashew. Yeah. Oh, it's so dumb. Uh, okay. I just got to sw- switch show over to the Saturday Night Insanity scene. Someone posted a dad joke that was just so bad I had to tag Justin. I was like, Justin, this is for you. Uh, the screen is going to go black for a few seconds. Do not panic. We're still here. I fucking I'm... hate that. I, it's because it has to load the next pile of shit. So, I know. Oh, God, no. I know. When you switch groups of... I know. It does that. I also, know. sometimes it crashes. You know, the fucking thing. Cool. Like, just stop the screen. Well, here we go. Hopefully, we won't crash. Now that you made me all nervous about it. Uh... <laughs> here we go. Just let me discover these things for myself, and then I can get mad. <laughs> Here we go. It's, the screen's going to go black momentarily, and then we will be back, hopefully. Finger's not going to work. There we go. Did. Oh, I know. There we go. Okay, we're back. And I can't can't hear you guys just hold on a sec uh, Fine, we'll now hear me? there we go okay hear me? Now, now we can hear everybody oh. all right so just got to switch over here so now i got to fix my camera again uh. can you hear me yes Ta-da. i can hear you i'm wearing my <laughs> strappy dress skin slip fully on cam Woo! I don't have to shame for any motherfuckers with my pretty <laughs> Rock into au natural. Yeah. I don't have... I don't... Mm-hmm. I'm going to shave... I'm going to laser off my, my hair to make me feel sexy there when I'm go. ready. There you go. You know, when I don't drive two hours to go get done. Your body. Aw, uh, thanks, bird. Yay. All right, uh, let's see. I need to change the background picture to the next one in the folder. Just kind of rotate through them. Looks like it is this one. There we go. Some trick-or-treating ghosts, because it's Halloween all the time on my channel. Yep, well, hello. I'm going to have a pentagram dress on. I approve. Well, there you go. See? Halloween every day. Halloween every day. And I still got the pumpkin in the jar, and it's staying right where it is. My aesthetic is Halloween barfed on me, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let I'm me just fire up the... Second. Actually, Halloween. hold on. We'll go here first. I just still got a couple little things to prep, and then we'll be all set. Hey, am I back? Okay, good. <clears throat> My internet poop for a second. Sanity Podcast. I'm changing the stream title, so don't worry, guys. I've I've got it. And we lost panic. skin slip. Everybody what panic. Happened? Oh, God, panic. Movies, horror, sci-fi, comics, gaming, collecting, and more. The more is what you guys come for. The more is when we burp and fart a lot. That's the best part. <laughs> and when and when things go did you, tink. Did you? <laughs> John. Well, what? Damn it! Do it. What? Did you do the tweet? No. I'm waiting for you to come back. Oh, you wanted to do like a reveal, I guess. No, 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 no. I'm just fixing. okay. I was my my thing crashed. That's oh, okay. I don't know what's going on. Coming back on. Wow, you're an idiot. Thank you, thank you so much. Appreciate that. More, please. <laughs> looking through that. Uh, this one just. <laughs> Today okay, math, got that working. Today in math class, I had the urge to fart. I had the bright idea Hello? that if I dropped my Hello? textbook and farted at okay. the same time, no one would hear it. Uh-huh. I dropped my textbook, everyone looked at me, and then I farted. <laughs> <laughs> and the first comment is, ping, 398 milliseconds. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. 
<laughs> like, I don't know, I just picture someone looking, drop. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> everybody look at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's like the whole urge to, like, cough to cover the fart. It's like you're just drawing uh -huh. more attention to yourself. Yeah. My luck is I do that and the sound would scare me and poop my pants in front of everybody. Ah! <laughs> yeah. the problem is I don't do the hey! Oh, tinfoil hat. So, yeah. Um... <laughs> There was actually six shooters for JFK, and uh, aliens are trying to read my thoughts at all times. And um, there we go. And the Earth is flat. Okay. <laughs> Twitter, do your tweet about the show. I yeah. Hold on. Okay. That's your reminder. The show started yet? Yes, it just started. It's almost started. Oh. It's about to start. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm sending the tweet now. All right. Okay. I am muting you you guys now. In Fuck a this show. These fans suck. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. And the show begins.